Hi, welcome to my channel about fish technique, robotics and embedded systems. If you're new to my channel or haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe via the thumbnail in the bottom right corner. As you can see, the topic of this video is the uh, Arduino. Arduino Mega 2560, Arduino Mega 80K and Arduino Uno. With a fish technique motor. Last time, the progress was that uh, when using Fortran, data was read and displayed correctly. However, what I want to do is getting not just digital data, but also uh, analog data from either here or here. And another thing is that reading the uh, data file that I use uh, for Fortran is not exactly um, a nice data file. It is read via um, processing using Java, not liking the way it is. And I want it to uh, have some lines, so I'm going to do it in Fortran with skipping lines, etc. However, um, when I want to use um, analog data, like I said, I need to either change this one or this one or both. So that's the first thing to do. And for that I just need a different computer in which I did um, this one or that one. Let's see how that works out. Okay, screencast. Um, first, this is the Uno Mega ADK and the Mega 2560. And this one I'm going to change with respect to the power and the programming. So, right now, this one is powered by these two cables, this one and this one, and I have to uh, take them out because I'm going to power them over USB via the other computer. And, um, Analog output isn't really a case on the Arduino, it will be pulse width modulation, which means that it has in the range of 0 to 5 volts, 265, 256 um, values. So the lower the value, um, the lower the output. Let's check. First, this one out, uh, this one out. Then this cable in. Now it is powered via the other computer. And let's go to the other computer. Oh, wait, I first have to uh, do some wiring because I have to take a wire and put them, put it somewhere here, and put a uh, LED somewhere in there. Or have it right straight from here to here in order to read it. Let's see how that works out. Because I only also have to read it uh, right here. So it will be from here to here to here here. So yeah, let's see how that one uh, works out. Okay, so what I've done now is three more wires, one from analog A8 right here to the breadboard, then a wire here to the breadboard and to A8 here and A for analog. So going to fritzing, it is a wire from here to let's say here and let me change color to okay, green. Then a wire from here to here. And a wire from here to here. So that's essentially the wiring. So uh, analog uh, straight here. Um, 
I could of course put an LED in here because it's positive motivation and then you see uh, it do something but that's initially it. So I have to program on the other computer because it's wired to the other computer and then a program in here and program something in here. Alright, other computer. Uh, I'm now directly linked to the Arduino ADK, Mega ADK, and I've defined analog out pin A8, which is 8, and defined variable AO, analog output, and added for uh, a for loop from 0 to smaller than 255 which makes well it's not entirely to the end and write that value hopefully it will work out okay and Yes, I'm probably doing something very wrong now. Port is alright, has to be that way. It's sending, yeah, okay, that's alright. That file descriptor. Timeout for the port to send. Uh, most likely because of um, ownership. I'll have to check on that. Alright, and yes, it was a matter of ownership, so it compiles and uploads. And in the meantime, I saw that I have forgotten to check if I got the answer that I got, that I want to have, which I do. So, it does count. And now I have to go to the other computer and program it so I can actually read it. So back on this computer, uh, still attached to uh, the other computer, not powered via those two um, connectors yet. In here I made a change for the Arduino, um, for this Arduino, that I uh, read the value coming through A8 to which it is connected with the time behind it and I still have to uh, say this is let me put it to 8 hopefully that's correct I make this A8 because on the computer, uh, on the board, it is also A8. And this is now input. Hopefully it works out. If not, I'll not as soon enough. A8. Let's go. Was not declared in the scope. So uh, that one does not properly function. If I take the A the A away, what does it do? Okay, I'll have to check for a short moment on the other computer. Uh, okay, I used indeed just number eight. So I'm now very curious what will happen. The selected serial port could not open. And why not? Um, this one is 
Um, why should it be that I have to close this one? Oh, that's possible. Let me close it once again. No, same thing. I have to check this. So far I have had to correct a few things. First of all, um, I did not get anything out of this uh, added LED which uh, shows the analog output from the Mega ADK. Checking information about the Arduino, it shows that um, analog in is really just analog in, uh, so you have to use a digital pin for analog output via pulsing modulation, which I have corrected. Also, um, you can only use several pins for doing that, so I've changed from analog 8 to pin 45, digital pin 45, and that looks like this, and then an LED somewhere here, so I um, think an LED and a resistor right here connected to ground, and then the wiring goes here and to A8. However, A8 is not declared. Some uh, according this is according to an example which doesn't work for me, but also um, right here it doesn't make a connection. So one solution and one or two things not quite right yet. All right, all things serve uh, solved for now, I think, and I let me blame the Monday morning or afternoon that I'm doing this afternoon actually. So, um, considering this output from the Arduino Mega 2560, everything is working out right now. As you can see here in the stopped auto scroll, pin A8 is giving 168, next time 174. And yeah, I had to still correct something. How things do work out right now. Next question is um, how about creating this uh, error opening? Okay, so let me close this one. Stop. And now it, fun it is functional, it is reading now. Yes, they can only read uh, one at a time, so either this one or this one. And if I go up, pin A8 is scrolling by, which is very nice. Okay, quit. That means that I now have to adjust here for um, a character because this is no longer a number but this is also a character with it. So now over to Fortran and see whatever I can get out of, out of it. Alright, after quite some trying and experimenting with Fortran code, I finally found out how to read multiple lines. Um, this is the original uh, file which comes from here. This is the output for the program, from the program. And this is in itself is quite nice. This doesn't make any sense, but regarding the fact that this is bad info and this is good info, and here it says pin is character of length 3. It totally makes sense. However, um, then it says at line 15 of the file there's a bad integer for item 7. So what does that mean? Well, item 7 is, as you can count correctly, 
Um, here, three, four, five, six, seven. Counting here, these two are going fine. Here it's going wrong because here is one and here is another one which is clearly from another line. Something has skipped. So that is causing the error. The uh, question is how to solve it. Um, my experience with Fortran isn't that big yet, so I have to say I don't know how to skip it. So I'm glad that I uh, found uh, uh, that I can r read and write two lines, which is nice enough. But yeah, well, one solution gets another problem. Anyway, that's it for now. So, um, this is going nice. Um, the analog output is going nice, as far as I've uh, been able to see. And the rest for Fortran is uh, for another time, when I've solved this problem. And with these results, I say thanks for watching. If you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel, give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment or suggestion. Please do also click the bell for notifications. Um, you can also follow me via Twitter and Instagram and please do support via, uh, oops, um, via PayPal or via Ko-fi.com or become a patron for as little as 2 euros or 2 dollars a month. This is obviously going to be continued. Take a look at my website please for much more um, projects. And for now, take care, stay safe, bye.